Hello, Mike. Hey. Now, Mike, you are diabetic. That's right. Okay, so that means you have diabetes. That's right. Can you explain what diabetes is? Okay, basically, your body, everybody has an organ in their body called a pancreas. Your pancreas produces a hormone called insulin and insulin covers your body, the sugar you take into your body, it converts it into energy. Now all food you eat, all sugar. All drinks you drink, they all are basically sugar. They have sugar in them and they come into your body. It's digested and it changes into plain sugar. The insulin changes that sugar into energy. And then for diabetics their pancreas stops making insulin. So you body just collects all this sugar and it can't get rid of it. But it has no energy, like no fat. So diabetics would typically start to lose weight and they are peeing, going to the bathroom all the time and the reason is cause the excess sugar that's building up in their body. Now this is something you have had since you were a child? That's right. I have had it for over 25 years. I got it when I was about 12 years old. Wait a minute. So you are not born with it? It just suddenly one day, you became diabetic. That's right. Yeah. It's. They are not sure why. They still don't know but it's probably partly genetic. So I think if you have it in your family there's a chance you can have it yourself. And these days, people are, you know, getting it more and more. Right, so how is your life different, that being a diabetic? Well, of course, I have to be much more careful with my diet. I think probably the most important thing, if anybody is diabetic, listening to this, the most important thing is to make sure you are always checking your blood sugars and making sure that your blood, that your blood sugar levels are controlled. That's the most important. So, that's the main thing you have to do? Yeah, absolutely. And how do you check that? Well, I have a it's called a glucometer and you prick your finger with a little needle and the blood comes out. You put it on a little strip and the strip goes in the glucometer and it gives you a reading of your blood sugar level. But basically you still have a normal life. You know, your life is not different compared to normal people other people's. Yes. Right. Of course. Yeah, things are pretty much normal, except for me in general, but my lifestyle and everything else is the same. Thanks, Mike. Sure. Mike, I hear about diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. What's the difference? That's right, Todd. There are two types of diabetes. There is. There's two types. There's type 1 diabetes and there's type 2. Type 1 is usually attributed to genetics and generally type 1, it can happen at any age but it tends to happen when people are younger and then for some reason, they still don't know why, but the pancreas, an organ in your body, it stops producing insulin, which is a hormone, and when that happens, you instantly become diabetic, and that's type 1 diabetes. 
Now, type 2 diabetes, generally speaking, is because of diet-related issues. People who tend to have poor diets or tend to be very overweight, and again I'm generalizing of course, so there's probably very healthy fit type 2 diabetics that can still get it but generally, what I think happens with type 2 diabetes, this is just a theory that you put so much strain on your pancreas to produce insulin for all the sugar that you are eating that it just stops, it just runs out of insulin and slowly, slowly starts to slow down. So basically if you have a really poor diet and you eat a lot of sugar and you don't exercise then you increase your chances. Definitely. Definitely. You are increasing your chances. I'm sure of that. Right. So, I think these days, one of the biggest problems is probably soda. I know I drink too much soda, so being a diabetic, do you ever drink soda or sweet drinks? Well, of course I do but like non-sugar sodas, like Diet Cokes, and those kind of things, but of course I drink fruit juices, but generally I drink more water or try to drink drinks that don't have a lot of sugar added in them. Right. Now, actually if you have diabetes 1 or diabetes 2 is the result the same? Well, actually there's one major difference and I did not mention. Type 1 diabetes have to use insulin injections. They have to inject insulin to control the blood sugars. Type 2 diabetes often can take pills, so they don't have to inject themselves. So it's a pretty major difference. I think psychologically, if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. And are the complications the same? Yeah, the complications can be the same. Yeah. Can you explain what can happen? Well, like what happened to me. Generally what happens, the blood sugar clogs your blood vessels inside your body and eventually it leads to things like amputations. It can lead to things like loss of vision. It can lead to all kinds of other health-related problems where, you know, circulation is important, so those are probably the biggest liver disease, or sorry, kidney disease is another big one as well so people often lose their kidneys or their eyes, eyesight or limbs. That's terrible. Yeah, it is. It's pretty serious. So the main thing to do to try to prevent it is to have a healthy lifestyle and eat a healthy diet. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course for type 1 I don't think there is much you can really do to prevent it. If you get it, you get it, but definitely for type 2 that's a good thing to do.